But let's play a little bit of fantasy matchup. Fantasy Booker here. And we're going to do more of this as Misfits number four comes up because I think okay, that's something yep. that people really want to see, like matchups. Who do we want to watch? But yeah. one has been in my head. And for the life of me, I can't, I can't get it out of my head. And I think it's one of the best fights we can make right now. Talk to me about Logan Paul versus Andrew Tate and why this fight, in my opinion, should happen. What do you think? Definitely should happen just because of the where they like clash like online. Yes, you're talking like two monster moguls in the space, you know. And Tate is just like this weird. He's an enigma. Thing that, he's an enigma, and to be able to get him into the boxing ring because he's also a fighter. Mm -hmm. There's so much that goes into it that you're gonna get, you know, like you straight fireworks from like until that bell rings yes you know what i'm saying yes like the intensity in that arena would just be crazy because like tate has fans bro yes you know yes he's got a so and and again an we're not army. gonna sit here and like whatever you guys think about andrew tate whatever you think about logan we're not gonna be the moral arbiters of who deserves what shot and what platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not our our position we we break down fucking fights here that's what we do and that's what makes our blood boil. That's what makes us rise up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if Logan doesn't want to give him that platform, like he said, whatever, fair play, and they find someone else. But let's just say that it is to happen. You're absolutely right. Andrew Tate has, especially right now, and I think you strike why the iron is hot because you don't know what he's going to be in a year or two. I can remember right. two or three years ago, Andrew Tate was a Twitter troll almost. If, if people don't remember, like he was – under like little posts tagging people and called out Jake years ago. Like, and no one took it seriously because no one knew who Andrew Tate right, was. Right. But he's yeah. become this massive movement, this wave, this complete tsunami. And his fans are still, even though he's been, you know, deplatformed, they're still pretty behind him. And I think it's a great matchup. I think size wise, it makes sense. Andrew's a very experienced guy. And I don't know, have you seen some of his stuff? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, he's awkward. You know, he's a little bit. He's, he's awkward. awkward. He's is he like he talked about his issues that he has with his eyes he's got and a how he right took, eye issue. Yeah. So, so he doesn't cover, which At is all. very interesting. So that's that's obviously not good because it obviously leaves you available. But it's Logan. Um, it's it's a it's a Logan versus like they they almost fight Western boxing wise because Andrew can't kick. They would almost fight very yeah. similar, except I think Andrew's a little yeah. more fluid. What's What's interesting is that Logan has said that he doesn't want to uh, platform him, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. Like, I think Andrew would like bite at the opportunity immediately because I think that he can afford to lose to Logan. You think Andrew can afford to lose more than Logan can? Yes, I, I, because the like the the stance that Logan has taken. I just think that if he loses to Tate. Dude, like the it's Tate a massive Army. Risk, man. It's a massive risk for Logan, and that's why I don't think it'll happen. Even before he said he didn't want a platform, I thought it was a massive risk for him just because yeah. that's what I'm talking about. It's it's you have to strike while the iron is hot. Tate might not be here in a year. You know, he might not be here in six months. Right. You just don't know. So you lose to him, you've effectively created a megastar on accident. You know what I mean? More so than yeah. he already is. And he's one of the most popular guys, obviously the deplatforming thing, but you put him in there with Logan, and he beats Logan. Now Logan has made him, you know what I mean, to a degree that he, no one could anticipate. And then That's you got what I'm possible, you know, him on the mic going, "Give me Jake," and then you know, KSI, you know, whoever. But I do. I think if like Logan wins, I don't think that doesn't. What does it do like, for him? What is that? I don't think that slows down Andrew's steam. Well, Obviously, what does it, do it doesn't for speed it up. That's the question too. What does it do for Logan? You know, that's what I'm saying, because a lot of people aren't even on his side. Yeah. Does it, make, take, does it you know? make Logan a bigger star? Does it? I mean, here's the thing. It doesn't have to make Logan a bigger star. All it has to do is provide more eyes on that event. I think that's what Logan has always right. said he wants, to be a showman, to be an entertainer, to be someone that provides the most value, provides the most entertainment for the event. And if I don't really know. Unless Dylan Dennis is the guy for Logan, and they do some mix and match stuff with, and we can do that later. But I don't know who else is the guy for him. If if Logan truly wants to be on the event in January, who else is there? Who? Yeah, no, I mean, 
Tate would be the that's like the guy. best case scenario. That's the guy. Now that let's would, do that this. would be the one. Because this is not an official fight. They did. And we're we're doing a fantasy matchmaker here. Who wins? Early predictions. We'll, we'll, this will change if it becomes official, and we'll, we'll take more. But just quick off the top of the dome, who you got winning? Um, I would say Logan. Fair. How? Just be. Uh, I think he would catch him, and then it would be end up being a TKO. I think Tate. Tate is older. I don't know. Tate is older, and he's. Uh, it seems like he's done fi- done fighting. Doesn't really seem to care too much about the fighting. And uh, never he never seemed like a guy that really like he wasn't motivated by it to begin with. It was something more of no, a necessity. No. It seemed like for him. Correct, and I don't know. I just feel like stylistically, I think Logan would just fight at a different speed. I think he would take it to a different speed. We saw him turn up and be really wild with Floyd, mm. but if he if he tightens that up, that's a very explosive dude. And I don't know how you know. How many times can Tate lean right. away from something before right. he gets caught by something? Do you think? Do you, you think know? Floyd wouldn't ta- or Floyd? Do you think Tate wouldn't take him as seriously, and that might be a, a, a part of that? Was like, do you think when Tate gets in there with a guy yeah. like Logan, he doesn't look at him as because you know Tate was an IAKSA kickboxing world champ? Does he not look at him the same? You think? Yeah, I think he may not look at him the same, but also, I mean, he's acknowledged that he respects him as like yeah. as a as a competitor. But when you watch Tate fight. Dude, he it's one of he's those available. guys that you're like you're like, bro, you're about to get he's knocked available. out. He just he yeah. just stands there like whatever, dude. Like he I know he stands there in the fire yeah. and just like barely gets out of the way yeah. a lot. Like just barely. But that's the thing, is he um, is it's the perfect way you just said it. He plays with fire because the reason he was or as explosive and as deadly as in some of those fights as he was is because of those little misses and capitalizations off, right? The little movements the little yeah. things to make guys miss and make them pay, you know? That's why, early predictions, I'd go Tate. I could, bro, I could see Tate just slipping and just being because like, Because Logan wow. fights the same way. Not yeah. Not necessarily yeah. in the fire, right? He doesn't get in the fire like, like Tate would. But at some point, Logan, this is a guy that's as big, in my opinion, as far as, you know, social media, whatever, but also physically as he is, there's going to have to be some... Back and forth. Logan can't jab his way to a victory, I don't think, here. You know? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I just think the this, uh, like, the way, like, just the speed, the cover, like, the, the blitz and the surprise. It would be interesting the, the difference in the speed, yeah. I just feel like Logan, he's very, he's fast for his size. Yeah. Like, just, that jab. not just, like, I'm not talking about, like, I'm not talking about just, like, hand speed. I'm talking about just, like, overall body mechanics. Very explosive for his size and can cover a lot of ground very fast with his feet. So it's just like oh, I'm like man, I just feel like for me has never been the intangibles for Logan. Like he can get to places quickly. His jab is nice, but what yeah. do you do then, right? Like that that right. little that next little step to pull the trigger, and that's really what it is. Just pulling the trigger. If he can he put that, that together, out. then oh. fair play. Let's let's all put put every dollar you have on Logan. But I don't know yeah. if he's ever going to make that click. You know, I don't know and under the lights. I'm sure in sparring he's sparking dudes, whatever. But under the lights, Andrew Tate, twenty thousand, forty thousand, whatever it is in Wembley, sold out. Yeah, does he get trigger shy? Does he get, does he pause a little bit and yeah. then that gives? Because if he fights at Tate's pace and is in his in his Very rhythm, methodical, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's Tate, you know. All right, but very early prediction. Shake on it. You got Logan taking yes. Tate. Comment section. Who you got? Let us know down below. <laughs> How will I sit up in the nose, please? How will I stop until they know me?